I stop using acid on my skin and I think you should also stop using any type of acid or exfoliant on your skin let me explain you why so if you watch one of my video where I was explaining how I destroy my skin how I transform my skin from great to ugly okay skin I didn't have that conception yet okay until I mess up my poor skin okay so i was doing i started doing all of this okay i started to buy acid i was using acid like two times or three times per week okay i started using acid two times or three times per week and the day that, that i use acid i do not use tretinoin cream then i upscale okay i upscale i started to use tretinoin cream and, and acid at the same time then i'm upscale i started using tretinoin cream on on wet face because I if you really watched the video and understood my point the reason for it was because i was using acid and tretinoin cream or gel at the same times so if you are somebody like me that use vitamin A or tretinoin cream or tretinoin gel as their treatment for anti-aging or acne, I will recommend to not use acid, especially if you if you are black or if you have a, if you have a dark complexion like me. When you mix acid and tretinoin on your skin, it's gonna damage your skin, especially if you are dark skin like me my experience using acid at the same time uh, with tretinoin cream i noticed that my skin got very sensitive i noticed that my face was always inflamed my face was always irritated and it increased my upper pigmentation issue if you have a dark skin you're gonna notice something when you use something that irritates your skin your upper pigmentation as well are going to increase so if you're trying to fix hyperpigmentation as one of my problem you are going to notice that no matter what type of product you are using on your face your hyperpigmentation is still gonna be there because your face is always irritated so one of the things that I have noticed is that I need to make sure that my face is not irritated at all I need to make sure that the product that I apply on my skin doesn't create or trigger my face to be irritated so that's why when i review my skincare routine when i review everything that i was doing i decided that i need to stop using acid all together on my skin so if you are new to tretinoin cream or you are using tretinoin cream and you and you have that issue of hyperpigmentation face always irritated face darkening you have all those type of pro, uh, all those type of issue on your face stop using acid all together but if you are using acid with your tretinoin cream or with your vitamin a i mean if you don't see any type of issue with that keep using it it may be that your face is different and you can use uh, acid at the same time or alternate acid with retinoin but someone like me with my condition it's not possible i'm not going to be doing that anymore another thing i also need to mention is that you can choose to use acid or tretinoin cream so if you are somebody that tried tretinoin cream and you were not successful at all it doesn't work for you maybe i would say go to the acid route the acid is still gonna make your face smooth it's gonna help you with your upper pigmentation i mean the acid is going to work at the surface level of your skin the acid have almost the same property as uh, tretinoin cream they are different if you want to use an acid that that's a little bit closer to the tretinoin cream i would say use glycolic acid but because you have a dark skin i would say make sure that you choose a glycolic acid with a small percentage maybe three percent or five percent using a higher percentage of glycolic acid is going to maybe damage your face at the long run if you notice i talk about lactic acid i talk about mandelic acid i talk about glycolic acid but i didn't talk about salicylic acid 
am I still using salicylic, salicylic acid? Yes, I'm still using salicylic acid and I use salicylic acid maybe 1% or 2%. Usually I use them as a wash face or as a moisturizer. I have a moisturizer from ELF that I really, really enjoy and, and like. It contains 1% salicylic acid and I found that it's very gentle on my skin. My skin like it. I wasn't irritated. I didn't, it, it, it doesn't cause me any type of issue. So that's the reason why I still use that on and off. I don't, I, I don't use that all the time. I really use it on and off. I may use that maybe once per week or I may use that maybe twice after two weeks. It really depends on on how um, my face feel like i said when i apply a product on my face i really apply a product on how my face feel if my face feel irritated i'm not gonna apply an acid or a product that may irritate it more but it has been a long time that my face doesn't get irritated okay but I've, but i'm still very cautious of that because i know that if my face is irritated i'm it's, it's going to get darker and darker so i try not to irritate my face i know maybe some of you you're going to ask me okay what do you think about doing uh peeling those peeling at your doctor office maybe once per year or two times per year i will say uh, you have to try and see if it's really necessary. If you're doing a chemical peel, maybe every six months, I would say, yes, that's a good thing to do. You may do that. Okay, just find a right person that is going to do that on your face. Otherwise, it may burn your face and it may, it may give you hyperpigmentation. Also, before doing your exfoliant peeling or your chemical peeling before doing that make sure that you spend two weeks without applying the tretinoin cream or without using vitamin a or tretinoin gel so you take a break for two weeks after those two weeks then go do your chemical peel that way you are sure that you, you're not going to have the side effect of mixing tretinoin and your acid so that's what i have to say about using acid that's what i'm doing right now in my routine so you won't see me you're not going to see me uh in the future using any type of acid i'm still having a lot of acid on my uh, in my bathroom i don't know what i'm going to do with them i don't know if, if i'm going to donate or i'm going to throw away i feel like if I donate to somebody, I feel like I'm donating something that I don't use. I'm not sure. I need to find somebody that uses acid and that are successful with acid. Then I may give them all, all the acid products that I have in my arsenal. What do you think, guys? Hmm?